Hey, I'm Bjorn from Ultra Mobile Life, and um, I've got two new things to show you. One of them is the Via Nanobook Ultra Mobile Device Reference Design, and an exclusive first look at the Packard Bell Easy Note XS that is based on the Via Nanobook Reference Design. Um, we're going to look at the Nanobook first. Take a look at it here. You've got a 7 inch screen, and then you've got the uh, Mobility Plus module over here. Um, you've got a touchpad down here, and then you've got your full size keyboard here. Your uh, little activity lights are down here, and um, if you look on the side, you've got two USB ports, headphone and microphone jack, a uh, RJ45 Ethernet jack, and your power here. And then on the other side, you've got um, a DVI out for your, your video, and then an SD card slot here. Um, if you look at this module here, you can take it out. And uh, this is a USB handset. So you can do voice over IP calls, and uh, just turn it on, dial up your number, and uh, just start making phone calls on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can also get a GPS module, uh, webcam, HSDPA, any kind of 3G wireless module can go in there. Um, we've got a clock, calculator, all sorts of stuff. And the coolest thing about this is this is just a, a USB connector. So any USB device that can fit into this size can be uh, turned into a module without a whole lot of work. Um, so it's pretty cool, you can put that in there. Uh, you got nice big stereo speakers here. It's pretty loud, um, works out pretty well. I don't have uh, wireless internet uh, hooked up here, so uh, I'm gonna have to hook it up to a wired cable. I know, it's not very mobile, is it? So, um, pull up YouTube real quick, watch a video on there. Today I was watching a video of uh, Hugo playing with his Everrun, and uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I suggest you check that out. Let's, let's take a look at his unboxing video. He drove his car down to FedEx and uh, did his unboxing video in the car. I couldn't believe it. I was so jealous. So let's look for the Everrun. See if we can find one. There it is. There's Hugo's. So you got a touchpad here. This one is not a touch screen, but you can get it with a touch screen. Let's scroll down a little bit. So the speakers are nice and loud, and um, those videos pretty well. As you can see, it I think that's about it for this one. Um, let me turn this off and um, pull out the Packard Bell model. So here's the Packard Bell. You'll notice that this one has a screen. Let's get them side by side here. You'll notice that this one has a screen. It's a little more centered, I think. And uh, instead of the expandable module, they've got a uh, webcam here with the microphone. So that's their standard module, and that's what's going to come with the Packard Bell. You're not going to have the uh, expandability like on this one. but. Uh, all of the jacks, the ports are the same on the side here. And on the other side, you've got your DVI and your SD card slots. The keyboard is the exact same size, but uh, the power button is a little different. You've got a Wi-Fi button here that will turn on and off the Wi-Fi. And they moved the touchpad from all the way up in the front here. They moved it up to this corner here. So you can see the touchpad here and then left and right click are there. It's more of a two-handed, more like a UMP style type of thing. 
Um, and you can see the activity lights were moved up to the front here as well. And the speakers are about the same size. Uh, and it comes in a much nicer black color. I'm not a fan of the silver, but uh, I like the black. And then if you look at the back here, you can see it says Packard Bell as well. And the Packard Bell unit is going to be available in Europe first. Um, actually, only in Europe. And it's supposed to come out end of August is what I've heard. So um, look for an announcement by Packard Bell. It's kind of an unannounced thing right now. But uh, here you can see the two of them side by side. And um, I can't wait to get my hands on a, a real production model and have it for my very own. So um, this has been Bjorn Mulch Mobile Life. Thanks for watching.